You are now tuned in to the Real Magic Podcast, bitches. What's good, man? What's good? What's going Christmas on, around man? The corner. Yes, sir. It's the Christmas edition of the Real Maddie Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? How y'all been? Been chilling, man. Honestly? Working, man. For real. What is yeah. It? Putting in that work. <laughs> Ben's was so happy, bro. Ben yeah. in a whole new spot, bro. You see that background? Yeah, background sir. change. You got a new chair. Mm-hmm. You don't know what how to Ooh, act, I man. Don't see the now. Okay, okay. G Jack, we see big money. Yeah, bro. Had to, bro. <laughs> the old neighborhood was crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for real. Gunshots every night type yeah. shit. So we had to get the boy out of the hell yeah. Yeah, for real, man. For real, for real. Yes, sir. So we finna get it cracking, man. This is episode 34 of the Real Matic Podcast. Yeah. You know, we're gonna sir. talk about the music. We're gonna talk about the culture. We're gonna talk about society as we know it. I'm Ben. I'm with my brothers Rasan and Marlon. Hey! Hey! Today we got another one. It's a banger. So, what y'all want for Christmas, bro? Uh, I... <laughs> I, like, I feel like I no, nah, like I feel like we should like re- re- rephrase this question to like, what's your uh your favorite Christmas gift that you ever got? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Favorite Christmas gift? Yeah, what's favorite your favorite Christmas, Christmas gift? I, I guess last year. I... A car for Christmas, so shit. I guess. I mean, hey, but I got I got this shit way before Christmas. Oh, okay. Other than that, I mean, well, it's you hard. Need a Christmas gift then. <sighs> I'm good because because bro, you get every like when you live it, when you get everything you want to a certain extent. It's like I don't really. You know what I'm saying? That's like, why I was like, it's hard for me to say like something I want for Christmas because like it's stuff. You already got the shit, so it's like, yeah. yeah, that is true. But uh, what do I have on my list? I think I had like. Like an Osmo or something like it was like to shoot videos. What was your favorite gift though? But my favorite gift was my dog. I got um my oh, dog okay. Ethan like seven years ago. So yeah. So I've had <laughs> that, that dog forever. Ethan. That man old, bro. Go way back. I've had that <laughs> man for years. So. I've been. What's up with it? Uh, favorite gift though. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get oh, back no, to you on no. that. I have another one. I got this for Christmas one year. One year, bro. I remember I was in tenth and eighth grade. And I said some goofy shit, bro. I remember. Do you know what Pink Dolphin is? I feel yeah. like they had been familiar. That was a well, that was a clothing brand, wasn't that Jasper's yeah, clothing was, brand? I don't know mm. why. You know, that shit was so different to me, bro. That shit had the bright ass colors and the fire ass logos, bro. I dead ass was like, bro, I want some Pink Dolphin for Christmas, bro. They gave me like an ugly ass hat. They gave me like, <laughs> some socks. A little ugly hat. <laughs> hey, I didn't. I didn't. I don't know where the hat is. I don't think I wore the hat. But I wore the fuck out of them socks and the t-shirt to the point where them bitches had holes in it. Like, bro, I, like, mm. cause bro, we, as a kid, we ain't had no money, bro. That shit was, bro. Like, it's to the point I ain't, I ain't never bought, bought no, no pink dolphin ever since then. But it was still like in the moment, it was hot, it was hard. Mm. Well, yeah, I can't think of one. My favorite gift though, I don't know. And then these years, I'm always getting myself stuff. It ain't really like, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's like, man. okay, what's the what what. The most expensive gift you bought for somebody else? Uh, uh probably be for um my best friend. I got her like something worth over a hundred dollars. It was like a tripod. Man, yeah, man. like a tripod because she does money. photography, so it was a tripod, lights, yeah. and stuff man, like that. Got the, got the money. You money. Man, look, uh, man, I be trying out here, bro. I be trying. Uh, What's we'll, y'all's though? I don't, I don't think I spend more than a hundred. I think I spend less than a hundred every every year because uh, you know, girls really won't. Like expensive shit, so it's like I think I spent I think th- this year's the most I spent, and I think together it might it might have been over 120, but it's like hey, I just gotta say, bro, it sounds good right now. Like I could really hear this nigga Marlon. <laughs> I don't know about them other videos, but <laughs> this video I can really hear your ass. Man, Marlon bro. turned his <laughs> mic on. For real. No, I ain't talking- like listen, if you if you see how close the mic is to my mouth, you understand. Like, <laughs> like, like I would turn the camera just for one second. Oh no, no. Like, my is literally like right here. Word. My my face is like right. Like, right there's but like I say, you, you get yeah, I get everybody little shit. You can't get nobody no super expensive shit. That's just your mom or something, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Uh I think the highest I've spent was I bought my mom a Mac. What's that? So, 
See, oh yeah, you big money for real. Nigga, but for I, real, ain't that a thou wow? Yeah, that's a thou wow. God, that's what my mom met, bro. But that was like that was like a year ago, I think. Mm. So yeah, that, that, that was the, the that, was, that was the most I ever spent on a Christmas he, gift. Pop was spoke when he did that shit too. He's like here. Have you ever seen that meme where it's like it's like oh, nah, 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 nah. yeah it's, yeah yeah that that was the craziest one that I did. I, but I, I'm a gift giver, so like I I usually be like planning stuff yeah, out. Like, like, yeah, the dollar amount don't matter to me for me. Mm. Yeah, no. as long as they deserve it, that's yeah, all that really matters. You, you yeah, bro, for somebody, somebody you care about. That's a fact. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. All right, y'all, let's get it started. Speaking of Christmas, the PlayStation Five. You know, a lot of people haven't been getting it, but we got these women at Walmart. <laughs> they really trying to get that shit. <laughs> yep. That shit on purpose. I've seen, I've seen too many niggas have about 50 PlayStations in their house on, on a giveaway type shit. Bro. I think that like. Yeah, they stealing PlayStations in, what is it, in Britain and London or some junk? Five PlayStations, bro. Like, come on now, that's bullshit. Man, here we go, here we go. What? Watch them brawl, man. Look at that Xbox, bro. He said, "Watch them brawl." My heart's not getting a little fat. They don't get paid enough for this, bro. They really don't get paid enough for this craziness. Like, if they they just fight and fight, man. They were just angry. Bro, if somebody just went to Walmart dead ass, niggas don't get paid enough. Oh. Opportunity like this, he's <laughs> so funny, bro. Yeah, that, that is like, like slowly just grab, <laughs> like grabbing this. charges and shit, putting nah, putting real, like, shit like. Why y'all fighting, bro? Bro, can I just say this? There are Come probably on, like bro, cause five bro, PlayStation Five bro. games, bro. Like, what? What am I really fighting over? Ain't no games. I barely. You're I'm, fighting. You're fighting like y'all probably barely for. can afford the system. It, it's just nothing for me here. <laughs> y'all just y'all just had a bad day and wanted to fight. Yeah, ain't oh. nobody buying the Xbox, but Xbox G. It's sitting right there. Just, <laughs> just get the Xbox. <laughs> man, that Xbox trash, man. Hey, bro, give it a couple months. The Xbox will catch up on y'all ass. Give it a couple months. They working on some shit. Nah, bro. bro. Hey, Don't nobody want no five. Xbox, bro. We, we scrapping for PS5. Bro, I'm going to go buy that shit. It's looking, it's looking real nice right now. I'm going to buy man, that shit. shit. I ain't looking trash. No you know that shit looking trash. You know it trash, they literally Nobody. gave us a box, bro. It literally is. That, it's fucking Xbox. I know it's called Xbox, but chill, bro. You ain't oh, supposed bro, to take it literally. We're yeah, staying nah. with the box, bro. Nah, box bro. game. Nah, box bro. game. PlayStation 5 just look futuristic, bro. Yeah. That Xbox look bro, like looks a like fucking a, box. It looks like a goddamn Bro, I could have made a better game. box than that, bro. I don't even make games. Yeah, I can't make a better PlayStation. That's disrespectful, that. man. That's disrespectful to people who really went is, for bro. like five. Se- what? What? PlayStation Four was out for what? Five, six years. Y'all telling me we couldn't advance past a trash can? <laughs> now we fighting for the future, man. Come on, man. What are we doing? I just feel like I don't never want to buy one of them shits until like I get at least fifty games on that bitch. So I wait two years. I need I need a number of games so I don't get bored when I play that shit. That's what I'm saying. There ain't no <laughs> games, really man. Wait, I was saying, saying. <laughs> listen, no, everybody right, waiting on me to get it. I ain't getting it no <laughs> time <laughs> soon, man. Five, bro. Like, like I said, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until that shit, until like at least God of War or some shit come out. I need like Bruh. some some stuff. That's the thing, man. When God of War come out, then I really might go hard to get it. No, he definitely gonna buy it. Mm. Like, Most definitely, yeah. no, he gonna be having that shit. So you wanna rob? You wanna rob him? You can go rob him because he gonna have that shit. Then. <laughs> oh, whoa! Don't send him after me, man. <laughs> bro, I, listen, bro, I ain't say your address. I just say, hey, man, Ross, I had it. <laughs> he said, I ain't say your address. That's <laughs> on my head, that shit. Ooh. But yeah, man, all right, let's move on. So mm-hmm. we got the JT versus Asian dog, bro. Okay, I'm going to say something real quick. Mm-hmm. Who can name one Asian doll song? I, I can, but I'm not going to be proud of it. <laughs> Like I probably listen to one project from her, and it's like an old one. 
no, I knew it was a part. Let's go. See no, like I'm not. I'm all. not taking the time to go run and go listen to Asian Doll. We just didn't know. People didn't know her for her music. We just like you just seen her a lot. Like, yeah. you see her around a lot, whole bunch of shit. But she's never gave you projects, and she's never gave you music that's memorable. But you always saw her either on a feature, or you saw her somewhere. Should I remember when bro, I always she saw just, her on a feature, bro? This year she signed to Gucci. Did she not? not this, this then Gucci dropped her. Or she left. I didn't Gucci even know that, shit. bro. That's know. what I'm saying. They be giving her clout for no reason. It's like I don't know why we're giving her anything right now. And then now you now you have more clout because you was King Von. Not even not even his girlfriend. So you was just somebody he was fucking with. I <laughs> did <laughs> not just somebody he was fucking with. Because <laughs> the because the narrative will, will tell you that hey look that that was his girlfriend. But look hey man, you probably just one of his bitches. Hey King Von King Von had like, has. Pretty bitches everywhere. So I'm, hey, Not man, for real. Though. I ain't even know she's been it's around since 2016. I ain't know about that. I'm saying she she's been on the rap scene, but you know how like every other female contemporary rap, they have projects, they have singles. You can name a Rico Nessie song, but you can't name an Asian doll song. That's at true. All. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, and then everybody else who was in her class blew up already. So what she at? She just here. Wait, she was hmm. in the class? Mm-hmm. No, no, okay, we're not talking about <laughs> not literally. Oh, no, no I thought she was like me. in a double XL. No, I thought she was in a double XL. I, I was mean, like, what year did I miss that? Oh, I missed hell no, nah, bro. She ain't drunk nah. shit. What's she, what she deserving of? Hell no. Nah. That's disrespectful, mm. bro. I'm just saying. Nigga, no name got more, got more songs than her. Mm. She is over here arguing because I watched her Instagram live, right? Asian Dolls mm-hmm. all like, oh, y'all just y'all just mad cause cause I, I can rap and and um I be I be rapping with the dude who wrote y'all biggest song. Me and me and Yachty be going back and forth. I'm like, that's nothing to be really that proud of. You and Yachty doing freestyles back to back. Yachty. Yachty. Yachty might be a like, songwriter, but bro. Okay. Not, Anybody can rap with Yachty. I'm Come saying, on now. I'm like, bro, like, y'all in the studio. I'm like, I don't really care, you know? Um, JT. You, you were arguing with JT about... <laughs> Heavy shit, and then J- then JT really probably hurt your feeling when he when he when she said, "Bro, you was two weeks ago talking to spirits and shit. Shut your ass up!" Like, yeah, no so, but, but Okay, y'all. So it all started when um, Asian Doll she was on Instagram Live mm-hmm. and she um, broke out the song. What's it called? Do it on the tip. Yeah, by Megan Thee Stallion. Her verse was never released, mm-hmm. but that was the smart was thing to, to do. Her and it was supposed to be her and uh, the City Girls on that song. Mm-hmm. But her verse never dropped. What so I she like played she, that shit. I feel like she has a lot of verses out there that people just take off. I feel but like I'm like, yo, could pop- you? Like, like, like I've like, listened to this song what twice, maybe. She's not a popular, popular person, I but it, but it's popular amongst women. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I don't, I think that having the Sitter Girls on that song was better for her. Having Asian Doll yeah, was yeah. not gonna get me anything. What what was I gonna get? What from she her? hate. Yeah, she completely is. Hating. You're hating. You felt like, oh, dang, my money was, uh, I you, missed out on a bag. Hating, hating. Yeah. It's like hating and you're trying to bring down another black Man, but I get it, though. I get it. You made your but fucking you verse. Know? You made your fire ass verse. Know, you put bro, everything into this verse. Bro, bro, you, bro, you and hate. they told you that the song was going to come out. But, bro, you hate And it bro. don't come out? Come man. on, man. <laughs> what? Man. I'd be mad, too. I bet you hating, though. You hate no, then you coming at my character talking about me and Uzi and shit and, and shit. But the hate oh, is justified though, Marlon. The hate is justified. No, it, man. no. It is justified. I'm just saying, bro. Okay, look, they are in two different brackets. There's no need to hate from below, bro. Stop like, it. Like, <laughs> like you're not. Exactly. If y'all in two different brackets, bro, y'all not listen, thinking, bro. bro y'all JT's not thinking. In a, it's a whole different bracket above where she at, bro. JC by herself. Like, come on now, bro. Like, you proving my point, bro. She this looking okay. up. She looking Maybe at them then. like that. That, that check this listen. out. You she take came you being, out. Mm-hmm. You being taken out the song has nothing to do with me, bitch. It has nothing to do with me. That's that's only. But a, this is the okay. thing, though. She came out in twenty sixteen. Bro, that's hard. She ain't do shit. Let me, let me get to this point. She mm-hmm. came yeah, out I mean, in twenty sixteen, watch- right? Yeah. She's yeah, watching watch. people ascend quickly. So she hey, made a she did. made a verse on one of the most popular songs. You think she not gonna be mad? I'll be fucking pissed. But if your verse sounds I'm weird, trying to take worse. off. Trying to take off off the back bitch, of the it should, bitch, been, bitch, it's been four years. The verse is not bad, though. That's the thing. The verse is actually yeah. good. Damn, mm. rap, rap only lasts. Your cycle only might last two to three years. 
I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of wild, bro. Like, her, yeah. her chance is done for. Like, she ain't, no, but you're not popping. I feel like she's just going down swinging. Yeah, she going down she swinging. She's going to land on her back. She's going to land on her back. justified. She's going to lay on her back. There ain't nothing. But listen, the one thing you're not going to do is come for JT, bro. I'm sorry, dog. Y'all, like, it's so you then, see, then Asian dog goes to the point. <laughs> said, have you seen him too? <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. Like, listen, I see why Uzi stuck, bro. I see why Lil Uzi stuck. No, like, for real, though. That's the weirdest comfort you ever see. Look, Uzi's very weird. Like, Asian dog. I was just saying, like, how do y'all even meet, like, I don't even know. Uzi probably shorter than her, but I will say, no, um, no hell, bro, they probably either the same height hell. or shorter. But I they will say, same height. Right. Asian dog tried to five, say though. that JT, JT was doing uh, what is it? Was it the QC QC leader? Who who is his name? Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Asian he, dog he, starts he, the rumor that JT slept with QC, which is the manager. Mm-hmm. Um, no, not QC slept with no, P, no, which is the manager of QC. Yeah, yeah. Oh, P. These weird ass names, bro. I was just like, but, yeah. She could have. Who cares? Oh. She's still bigger than you at this maybe point. Maybe you need to. I mean, cause ah. <laughs> maybe you need to. What was it? You said she got signed to who? Rick Ross or who? who did <laughs> she was signed to Gucci. Rick Ross. Oh, she should have did Gucci. No, MMG. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybach music. Asian dog. I, I mean, I feel like the hate, like the hate shit don't make sense. If you were her manager, if you were Asian dog's manager, what would you tell her? What advice would you give her? Just she keep. Studio. She's like, doing rapping. it. Music. Like, she, I'm with she, she in the studio. She's not. Don't listen, not. To the, don't listen to the don't listen to the real manic shit. podcast crew. Not, bitch. <laughs> That's what she would say. That's what the manager would I'm say. Saying, there. Bro, don't listen to know, them. You've been working for how long? You been been out for how long? And here's funny shit. She's made songs, but it's just like she ain't blew up. Like I like I remember certain a certain segment of time where I saw her shit. She can rap. Like I'm gonna give her her credit. She look cute or whatever, and she can rap. But she it's like it's just never connected to shit wanted. Like her shit's not getting played on the. Radio, I don't listen bro. to her. So if you listening to her, what is it? To- what do you think it is? That's not making her pop. Right. Yeah. It's her name. What is she, she missing? Rap. Her name. Know. You think so? I, I think it's her name. name. Like, I don't fuck it's her name. Hmm. I, I, I'm just I like, like, I'm like, like, not I looking like, for somebody I, named Asian doll. Mm. I, yeah. like I feel like it was her. I feel like it was her. My look, thing bro. is, she don't look like, Asian though. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, you just where did that I come from? She came out. Her look was so. Dude, her look was so like random. I don't know. I just feel like she marketed herself wrong, and I, and a lot of artists do that nowadays. Like for example, like Tanisha, you you would say a lot of artists. Without the right management or team, can market themselves in the wrong direction, and I feel Travis like Scott. she didn't produce. Nigga, the Travis perfect Scott market. Fuck up. Yo, that man huh? is the perfect yeah. example of perfect marketing. I'm saying, like, hey, hey bro, the, you may song, but bro, I feel like the only thing you can do at this point is get your ass in the studio. Mm. That's it. Bro. I feel like music trumps any other bullshit. You online, you on Twitter every day tweeting and shit. You posting pictures of Vaughn and shit, but it's like, bro, what she, are you doing? She need to learn from the Tory. She need to learn from Tory Lanez. Okay, Just bro. keep dropping music. What's the lesson? Just keep dropping music, bro. People is, might not listen to it, but is, they gonna listen somehow. No, listen is mm. Literally. Class. Can't not, say not just drop music. I don't believe in just dropping music because everybody do that shit. No, work on your class. Study the damn market. What do the people what? want? <laughs> she making true? music people don't want. Because like, bro, we're female. There's too many female rappers out here anyway that can murder your ass. Like, bro, you got work on your craft, bro. <laughs> like, Megan Thee Stallion is a perfect example of that. She studies the market. Women, Man. they want to just dance. They don't want no fucking lyrical but shit. Even then, but even then, Megan, Megan is... is they want to twerk, my nigga. They want to get on these tables and twerk. I'm in my restaurant. <laughs> they want to twerk on the damn table, Megan, bro. My, Megan, my, my, Megan might be in, pro, in trouble, too. Like it's, I feel like it's, I feel like it's coming. Mm. Only I say that because it's like, bro, Trouble Megan who? and the baby. No, listen, hit me out. Megan and the baby, mm. they might be in trouble. This is why I say that because they, bro, they 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 fell into a pocket, and to be like in that upper echelon of what you feel like is great is great talent, bro. You gotta d- diversify your style, bro. Yeah, you making hits, that's true. People love your shit regardless. That's true. But now your shit all sounds the same. Now it's like 
I see Megan. not saying that about yes, Megan. Bro, I be reading the comments, bro. Every time I see, every time Megan drops some shit, they be wanting a certain type of like rap from her, and she gonna be giving them that shit. Every time the baby drops some shit, it's like, bro, you just giving us the same beat. Well, we, re- so well, we Megan, reviewed uh, the good. And you said about right? Megan, bro. Her part, her last. How many times did you listen to her last album? Just a general question. You know I ain't listening to that. Yeah, we ain't listening. I'm not listening to that. Only thing I'm listening to I'm is probably saying, Crybaby. I'm just saying, bro. It's like. Mm-hmm. I don't know, isn't that? I never, I have never listened to Crybaby. I don't know. If it was why on not? Instagram, I have, I have, I have don't never. Don't care. It's on hard though. I have never sat there and turned that shit on. No, I probably I know. Like, I probably know it word for word because it's kind of hard. I actually enjoy it, <laughs> and I'm proud to say it. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all gonna <laughs> laugh? He said it. I'm gonna say like, it. Not for real. This <laughs> man. It's like. I was like, okay, nigga, do that shit. For real, bro. But they in two different dynamics, though. It's two different dynamics, bro. Like, one is a woman, first of all. That's what I was saying. They did different gender. When you think about who's the best female MC, Mm -hmm. her name is going to be mentioned. The baby's name is not going to be mentioned as one of the best MCs. That's just facts. No, she's going to last longer than the baby, bro. Who is Megan? Yes. Megan going to last longer than the baby? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Why is this hard I, to see? I feel like they, they gonna yes. last. They gonna last the same amount of time. No. She's mm. gonna last longer than this man. I'll see it. She's gonna last longer than this man. I don't feel like. I don't feel like the, the baby falling off either. Though, to be honest, I just feel so? like. Nah, he for some <clears throat> reason he still got the songs, bro. Even if they sound the same. Where's past what it is though? Like you're gonna get this same type of shit from them. It's not gonna get no better and no worse than that. Like it's gonna stay mm-hmm. in the same pocket. It ain't gonna be no garbage. Every shit, every like, bro, Megan worked with Beyonce. You don't think she gonna last longer than him? Come on, man. Bro, what the fuck Wake up. Fuck Wake name? up. Wake up, Rasan. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. What's up? What's up? She got a feature with Beyonce. That is. Come true. on, bro. But I don't mean shit. That bro, means that a lot. That means a lot. I I, I didn't even think about that. Oh, she do got a feature with Beyonce. Beyonce yeah, can yeah, keep bro, you alive. Really? For real, she can keep you alive. At least a good decade. (laughs) Nah, for real. All right, y'all. So, someone is holding Sway Lee's hard drive. (laughs) I'm gonna let y'all niggas know it wasn't me. Yeah. Somebody got this man hard drive, bro. Funniest (laughs) clip I've ever seen where this man literally is looking shocked the whole time, bro. He's just like, yo, what? They really got my stuff. Bro, looking. I don't even know, man. The whole bag, bro. Let, let, let's hear what my with the mass villain has to say, bro. Yeah, why you got to hide your voice? I don't understand. Bro, you don't want to get caught up too much? Bro, who don't recognize this your voice? Your voice? <laughs> Yo, the way he looking. He looking like that, bro. <laughs> that is mine. He was funny. He was oh, awesome. yeah, I'm going to show you everything that you left in that bag. That nigga looks scared as fuck, bro. Definitely selling this shit. That's what I like to see. 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 Trying to hold face. <laughs> I'm saying. You have this. I don't know why you have these, motherfuckers. Not the condoms. You ain't doing shit with these. <laughs> hey, listen, you ain't doing shit with these. Hold on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All your shit. It's all your shit. Yo, this man dealing with a Batman super villain, bro. Oh, no, you really real, got the hard bro. drive. It's all your shit. All Come your on, shit. man. He got your cash. <laughs> Pull out some random cash, too. And they go to hard drive. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Mm. What's, your, what's, your, what's your ground? What's your ground? Mm. Hard drive. Follow me right now. Or <laughs> come to follow me. Man, yeah, no. <laughs> Yo. Yo, bro. They out here ruthless, bro. My thing is, 
That man said, I'm going to leak all y'all stuff, man. I'm going to leak it all, bro. We don't care. Get on one hard drive. That's bad business. Like, Yo, come on now. Doing? Horrible. You don't put everything on one hard drive, bro. You got to have multiple to back them up. Okay, Even bro, though I know you don't want the songs to get leaked. You ain't never been to school, bro. You don't leave all your shit in one place, bro. This is stupid. Exactly, bro. That shit disappeared. Then what? It's over with. I'm like, you got all, Why is it even on a hard drive? Why can't you put it on the cloud? You can't put it on the cloud? I feel like... I feel like it can, get hacked. it can get hacked or whatever, and people be really yeah. searching. I feel like a lot of artists use hard, still use hard drives, bro. Mm. Which probably is true, but like, dog, you saw the look in that <laughs> man's eye? He was like, damn, this man really he was got... Shook. He really he got, got hurt, but it's like, bro... He was shook. How do you leave your shit, bro? But... The whole the other side of this is, if, all right, originally Sway I think what he offered like twenty five thousand dollars. For for the hard drive originally or whatever, why didn't you just take that? Now you're just being greedy, and now you're gonna turn this into some other type of police situation. Because I feel like Sway Lee about to pull a uh, Pharrell and snitch and be like, "Yo, this man stole my yeah. stuff." <laughs> For real, I feel like I get if, even if I gave you your shit back, I, I probably already took all the songs off that bitch. I'm and saying, like, copy bro. them anywhere. Like all that like, stuff like, is already, I feel like you're already copied, and I'm about to. Like, like, it's a lose lose situation because even if he pays, he like, still I, I got punked. You still got bitched. Bitch. <laughs> you still got bitched out your money. So like, I, I took your money and I took probably all your music, but you don't even know. You, There's nothing for him to do. He got to get somebody else to get it on some street shit. Uh, for real, he ain't it back. that's the only I way. Back. That's the only way, bro. I'm like, but <clears throat> are we looking for leaked Sway Lee songs? No, I, I am. You you no, would listen to a leaked Sway Lee song? Yeah. I, I don't yeah. think I don't think that's like as gold. If it has a whole album on there. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> give me that. I'm not <laughs> so disrespectful, man. I'm oh, I don't care if he down bad. Give me that. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not checking for it. I'm like, hey, yo, he a little down bad. I'm not really like on the You gonna hunt. give it back to him? No, 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 no. All right. No, 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 no. He lost not, all that stuff going not. on that piff tonight. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yo, I, I like, I don't see like the fear, bro. Like, go make some new music. You got this. I'm uploading that shit on iTunes. I'm taking all the proceeds. I would have sold it. I would have sold this shit to somebody else. Sway Lee. Poor That's guy. a fat L, man. That is. I don't know what he gonna do about that. Ben, Ben, that's some shit you would do. I told him, bro. Get somebody to get it back on some free <laughs> shit. Get somebody to get he it back on I some said. free shit. He heard what I said. You said what, bro? He said, <laughs> he said Ben, you tried to do some junk like that. <laughs> oh my God. Fuck out of like, here, nigga. Yo, like, you get off the plane, right? Where's your bag? Well, the comment shit definitely. Like, you get off the plane, where's your bag, bro? You just got off and was like, well, but gotta go. I ain't come on here with nothing. Bro, you know what's in your bag. He was probably high. That's true. But you know what's in your bag, bro. Nobody mm. on your crew was like, hey, yo, your bag, don't forget that. You ain't got no assistant to tell you that. You took an L on how your you, own, bro. How you, how you get your money in your car, though? Like, exactly. The money, like, the money, and the money part. The money like, part is like okay, whatever, because you're gonna make some more probably if you, you lose. Like, huh? like, nigga, went raw dog with them bitches, huh? <laughs> 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 like, I'm like, I'm just saying, like, you got the money and the condom in the man. You like, you went with no mask to go. Fuck man, looking car. sorry, bro. He was looking down looking bad, bro. Sorry. This what happens when you don't hang out with Slim Jimmy no more. The water Slim Jimmy stole that shit. <laughs> that should be funny as hell, bro. Oh that should God. be funny. <laughs> Swaycation? What is it? <laughs> Drop Swim. What is it? Drop sl- uh, What is the name of their project? Shrem Life 4? Mm-hmm. With me? Or you don't get your songs back? That shit. Let me get a free ride again, please. <laughs> that nigga said, hold on. Nah, that's too late, fool. <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's get into one of the hardest beefs. It's been a long year, bro. We got Cupcake versus Suki Hana. So if y'all don't know, Suki Hana is like a, a OnlyFans woman. Um, <laughs> a woman of the night. 
<laughs> oh no, 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 that's Sarah right. She's one of them Instagram girls who, who do anything for the dollar. And oh. I and I seen her on Instagram. She went viral <laughs> first because I remember she tattooed. She tattooed the goat on her face. She tattooed some mm. dumb ass shit on her face first, and she went viral. Mm. And I think she did anything in her power to go viral. This, this, she was on Love and Hip Hop too at one point. Like she, she was on Love and Hip Hop at this point. I didn't even know. Look that. up Love and Hip Hop Miami. She was she's on that shit. Mm. Dead ass. I didn't know that by any means. And she's trying to be a rapper. So this shit. The only fans is real, who are really made her, her all her damn money. Honestly. Mm. All right, I'm gonna throw this out here. Right, so her look. only fans is free. No. I'm it's gonna tell you some information. And you gotta pay a lot of for only these individual fans, videos. A lot of people do it. They either charge you like the five dollars or whatever for you for you to be a subscriber, then then you see everything, or they will like let you get in free and then they'll charge you by post. Mm-hmm. Which I feel like it's kind of dumb. Like just charge me the whole fucking fee so I, so I can subscribe and I can look at the shit see free. Everything. I don't know sense though. Like so and then click as an artist. I don't know where. She's from though. <clears throat> All she do is rap and talk about nasty shit. Don't know anything else other than that. Well, both so of them do is ninety eight percent the same thing. But she's actually a good rapper though. Cupcake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, yep. Yeah, Cupcake yep. is. Um, I don't know like where t- this came from though. Where this random beef came from, bro? It's Twitter shit, bro. Listen, they, y'all niggas who use Instagram, I'm letting y'all niggas know right now. Y'all be missing shit because every day. If you really be on Twitter, you will see shit that you ain't never gonna see nowhere else, ever. And a lot of the beasts, even with the Asian dog and JT shit, I saw that shit live on Twitter, bro. I was <laughs> screenshotting. I had I was sending shit to people. Like, bro, it was getting wild. So just mm. like everything else, it starts from Twitter and it ends up on Instagram. Mm. So what happened though? <laughs> right. Honestly, honestly, I. Don't, Really nothing to be honest. I feel like, it was, <laughs> I feel like it, it was just niggas talking shit. If you want to be real about what happened, it was like, bro. From the understanding of what happened from both of the diss tracks, uh, what is it? Suki was trying to get on a track with Cupcake, and mm-hmm. Cupcake was trying to charge her like 5000 to get the verse mm-hmm. on there, and she kind of felt disrespected by that price. And I'm like, what do you mean? Five thousand for the verse? Nah, that doesn't sound horrible for for cupcake, especially. Yeah, you know that sounds like a pretty reasonable price for her. But they both dropped their own respective diss tracks called uh, "Rob Who Bitch" and "The Gag Is." Bro, mm-hmm. that that cupcake killed her. Yeah, cupcake bodied her. It didn't even make any sense. She pulled up on that beat, bro, and I was like, "Good God, nasty, Disgusting. nasty, bro." Bruh. She said she gonna kill all her kids, bro, and she said, "Don't even bury them, bury them inside your pussy, man." It was crazy. <sighs> it, it was just, it was a lot going on. It was nasty. It was. Oh, but uh, other girl, Sukiana, yeah, she had some like lunch it. table, lunch table bars going on, man. Hey, she, bro. His name, bro. I seen that shit and I don't want no parts of it. Like, <laughs> I just, like, bro, you know how you see some shit in that you, you just don't want to see, just don't want to look at it. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that was it. I kept seeing a diss track and something in my spirit told me, bro, don't even do it. Bro, but it was yeah, just was so like, deadly, bro. Yeah, Cupcake really killed that beat, though. That 21 Savage beat. Uh-oh. She can rap. I, you know, yeah. It just wasn't an interesting beef to look to care about. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, because they're not huge, but it was so funny to watch. It was like, geez. Yeah. Yeah, Man. it came out of nowhere. All I saw was the photo was like, of Suki yo. with toes in her mouth. Also, I saw the video of her throwing up. Oh my god! Just, just, I saw that just, shit too, bro. You know, as, I've seen it. As a person who watched who watched a lot of porn in my lifetime, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm immune to it now because I ain't gonna lie. It was nasty, but it was like, <laughs> it, like I wasn't like, oh god, but I was like, uh, it was like, it was like what? I didn't see it was that. like what? Man, I'm got turned on. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, like, yeah, but it's something I did to you, though. <laughs> you gotta go, bro. Yeah. And like, the go. sad part of it is, <laughs> like, she like, threw up. Was yours, was, and then he was like, like it's yours, keep no, going. Like, and I was like, ugh, you. No, no. <laughs> and, then, and then the end, she, like, she got abused and shit. He's like, he's like what, you, what, what you want? I want a store. Okay, you got it, bitch. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sad, bro. She just trying to make a dollar, bro. And Cupcake out here beating her up, man. Want that shit? Like, no. Yeah, I don't know. That shit's funny, bro. Like, I can show you some shit. That shit be funny, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, not you trying to show us, though, bro. <laughs> I was trying to let it slide, bro. <laughs> so I can show you some. Shit. I don't want to see those videos. I'm good, bro. Niggas sound like you in a dark alley. Oh, bro, no, no, no. Okay, I can show you. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nigga came out the dark alley with no, that shit. No, no, bro, shit. No, them videos are just, they just, they're just funny as shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, it's porn, bro, but that should be funny as fuck to watch, bro. Like, you, like, you see the one I sit in the chat? Bro. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know, man. I don't know about that shit. That's crazy, though. But it is one of the hardest beefs, though. It is. It is. If you listen to Cupcake song, bro, it's just like, yo, this is nasty. She didn't have to do this. And I'm going to just leave it at that. She didn't have to kill it like that. All right, yeah, I'm moving on. Sauce Walker gets a quarter million diamond implanted on his face. Bro, they're going to take that yes. joke out of his face. A diamond. Planted on his Oy! face. Real sauce god shit. Yes, bro. Yes, my nigga, dog. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> like, hey, bro. Here you go. Here you go. But that's your hard. What? What? That's your hard. No, 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 no. That's hard. He the type of nigga, like, he the type of friend, bro, you couldn't have him as a friend because he gonna let you know what he did, like, every time, bro. Like, bro. He gonna put 250 cans face. Bro, like, he did it, bro. You ain't dripping as hard as him, bro. He got the shuriken, bike chain, ninja sword, all that. Like, bro, he got all the ice, bro. Keep playing with my nigga, bro. Bro, I'm telling <laughs> you. <laughs> Somebody going to rob that dude, bro. <laughs> and they going to look. They going to stand over his body. And they going to take it right out of his face. <laughs> they going to Thanos his ass. <laughs> they going to Thanos. They going to take his stone from him. <laughs> <laughs> take that nigga stone from him, bro. Hey, all bro. he going to do bro. is lay there That's and cry, bro. Because it's going to come out and the blood is going to come with it. My thing is the diamond is sticking out of his face. Like, it's not even really no, in his face. Not, but, it, but it's like, but it's a body modification. So that shit's stuck in his face. Like, he can get it out, but he's going to have to, like, actually get that shit out. So, so like, you just pull that. that bro, that it's really not do look like it's a twist on, twist off type yeah, thing, bro. Just pull nah, it. bro, that shit's in his face, bro. Man, I'll pull that shit Cause just like how you be, Just like how you see the people getting a little, all that other crazy, like, horns and shit in their face is the equivalent of a nigga just getting a, a teardrop, keyword, a teardrop diamond in his face. 250k. Do we have a clip of that? No, I don't got the clip of that. I got the photo of the bird is going to go, go on the Instagram, bro. That's not that damn hard, Russell. Y'all send it to me, me then, and I'll show it to the folk. Man. Russell, I'll fight you, bro. You, you. <laughs> we'll come back to it, man. I'll grab it right now. Jeez. All right. Go ahead. Russell, what else we got, man? All right. So the next thing we got has been all over the news. We got the woman who expects a man to pay for her child's meal on the first date. <laughs> you found it already? You sent it? Thank you. So we're going to come right back. We, wait, let me get that up. And also, right back also, I'm not I'm not paying for your for your child meal on the first date, bitch. I don't know you. Let's, know get, that. Let's get that clip, though. Want to get a clip first? I, I, right. I don't know you, dog. Like, yeah. I got her. <clears throat> I'm throwing it right now. She tripping, man. Yeah. Waiting for it to come up, y'all. I'm sorry. There go. Boop. <clears throat> Bruh. This junk ain't coming up. There it is. I was going to say, you got the sauce walk. Sauce walk. All right. We <laughs> are heading over to it right now. June, June. Mm -mm. There you go. Yo, Stop playing my nigga, dog. How old is this man, bro? That's what I'm saying, bro. The man looks like 35. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like, I feel like early, early, hell no, early, early, late 20s. Damn. You know, he, no, he, right, he, should, he should be hard, dog. Too hard. Too old to be putting that in your face. See this? Y'all want to rush to get these videos? Y'all can't see this man fight. Mm -mm. We struggling. Give me a fair watch. 
Give me dog. Watch some Wi-Fi trash. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is straight up trash. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. We ain't watching this video, bro. Y'all saw that man face. Oh wait, there you go. No, uh, -uh. it ain't going for it. <laughs> All right. Let's get the uh, the woman though. All right, cool. Yo. Mm. Mm. On the first day, bro. Bro. Man, I'm gonna say this. You know, first we're gonna pull up that video. So y'all can understand. Hmm? What is this, an orphanage? It's not an orphanage. Bruh, they just be needy, bro. They just be needy. Nah, for real, because it was just... Or to that. Oh, bitch, I don't know you all know. real man would. Like Woody. Woody. Woody, really? All right. Simp. So tell me if this is just way out of pocket. And this is why we talking prenuptials and shit. On the first date, I had to get my daughter something to eat before he took me out. So I was okay. like, can you run me by the McDonald's real quick? Because I'm running behind. Woo -woo. We get to McDonald's. No, no. All she got was her classic, a milkshake, four piece nugget, and a small fry. When the when the lady at the window asks for the bread, she's like, like "Where's that?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you said run me through yeah. McDonald's real quick so we can. Yeah, nigga, Bruh, we'll pay valid point. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I think that's the already. Right that was now. the first problem. That ain't no problem. I was at that moment. That's your problem. Look, and it was at that oh. moment. Now I had the you bread. You paid for the. And I even asked him to. The... Pause it right but there, look, bro. It Pause it right there. Yeah. That indirect ass shit. Look, man. You expected me to do some shit. You said drive me to a McDonald's. I got, oh, I got you. But you never said pay for my child meal because I might have said no. Like, bro, I'm not look, gonna, I'm about I'm to gonna say what I've been thinking you. like all week after saying seeing this. You. The fact that she said it like, yeah, my daughter just got her usual. Like, I don't care what your daughter's usual is. You asked, you said that you want to go get her something to eat, right? So that's on you. You was already going to do this even if I was not in this situation. So why exactly. would you want me to put my money up for that kid that I've never met on the first date? No. Bro, bro, bro. no. Oh, those mouths don't get fed. You didn't even ask the question. That's what I'm saying. Don't bro, assume didn't even you ask. Didn't ask me. You didn't ask me at all. Like, baby, can you please? Like, and then there's the first date. I don't even know you. I don't know you like that. Like, yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't playing catch with your kid, bro. We ain't friends. I don't, I don't know, I don't know that kid. kid. Like, damn, I'm, I'm trying to fuck, so I don't know why you even expecting me to lie. Exactly. Uh, like, I think we've seen another version of this same problem where it was like, oh, if I got to if I gotta come out of pocket for uh, a babysitter for, or if you ain't paying for a to-go plate for my kid, then why are we, we ain't going out again or whatever. What you yeah. mean? That's I don't care. Like, Female, it has I nothing females, to do with me. Females really be doing trash shit. Cause if you think about it, they all be okay. I'm not gonna speak for all females, but a lot of them don't want to buy shit for niggas. Don't want to take niggas on dates or pay for dates. Mm -hmm. They don't want to play their part, but they expect the man to be the provider, the, the be having the best sex, and put a roof over their head, be the leader. Like, bitch, I can't do all five, my nigga. I am not ambidextrous. I can't do every month. I'm saying it's not my kid. It, yeah. How am I supposed to just assume that that kid don't got no food at the house? How am I supposed to hey, assume that? Hold on. So you didn't feed your kid before you went on a date? She said she was running behind, bro. That's that's that, that's the excuse that we're gonna go with. Hey, I'm but running behind, so you gotta be that. You no, you knew what you was doing. But you put no 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 no. But you put a dating with a nigga over your kid's hunger? <laughs> bitch, 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 rest in peace, nigga. I'm my favorite, bro. <laughs> for real, for real, bro. I told her, I said, for real, bro. I couldn't say better than that. No. I would have told her ass no, and I said, bro, if you feel so, I got the car. Say bro. Why are you on dates if your kid ain't got no food? Like, why, like, why are you not feeding your kids? Priorities. 
Like, dang, Yo, she's she just trying to get a free like, meal for herself dang. and her kid at this point, bro. Okay, well, bitch, get out of here. She's trying to get the free ski, man. Cause like, and she really up here like know. talking like this shit makes sense. Like this shit <laughs> really makes sense to her. Why, why, why aren't you paying for me? Dude, I don't want to pay for the dude, extra mouth. Bro, and the other dudes in the room sitting here looking at her like, bro, what are you, are you talking dumb? about? Exactly. No, you dumb bitch. Let's finish that clip though. No, now you want to go back to the clip. <laughs> yeah, finish it off. Like, like, bro, I hope the clip ain't longer than that. Cause I, I swear, no, it's not much. It's like thirty man. seconds. I got you. I got you. Just transitioning back. <laughs> not enabling. Yeah. Women talk to other women, and they feel like with, with, with their chicken head ideas, they feel like. They, they could try niggas on that shit. And I feel like niggas fold because they don't want to lose out on the pussy. But, bro, fuck y'all. They're not going to get the pussy regardless, bro. Like, bro, relax. You know what we going to have to pay for? Like, bro, no, fuck that. At that moment that I knew you were never getting this pussy. Because he ain't pay for your daughter, fool. Fuck you on the first okay, date. Okay, so honestly, honestly, I ain't going to lie to you. My boss you one year knew I was having a sleepover for my daughter. He was like, oh, that's what you know. I ordered her pizza. That's why most of the relationships they cheat but on like, you. No, that's why most not. relationships they cheat on you with somebody at work because of shit like that. No, no, I'm going to no, pay no. for the, the, the daughter. Yeah, I'm going to pay for all that. And I'm pretty sure you want some young pussy. What do you mean? No, no, you no, no, paying I'm for it. She wouldn't have to be making sense. I was single at the time, but I'm going to tell you what No, I'm just saying how to get with you. I get what you're saying. I will fuck your boss up. From a man. Nah, but for real. They just be, hmm, that was a simp move. Oh, I'll pay for mm-hmm. your daughter's pizzas. That It's a whole setup, bro. And they be thinking that I they winning know. from this. And I'm like, I'm they're not, not you're not winning. Talk about your it's, daughter, a, it's a plot. It's a, plot. <sighs> it's a whole setup to try to use get. you, bro. They've been finessing for you. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Females are the weakest link. <laughs> bro, chill out, bro. <laughs> Here you go. All right, all right, but Look, if we go back to what I said for y'all. on I ain't other episode, crazy yet. if we go back to what I said on the other episode, ah, yeah, you ain't say shit. You ain't have my y'all back. Y'all two in that boat right now. Like, I ain't saying nothing like that. All right. Bro, all right, bro, nigga. Bro, I, bro, I had to, re- bro, I had to revisit. I had to revisit my take. I think females are the weakest link. <laughs> like, you, listen, welcome to the dark I'm, side. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna keep it straight. Like, niggas ain't shit. It is what it is, bro. Niggas ain't shit. True. And we do what we do, bro. Listen, and listen, we don't step up and be accountable for the shit that we need to do. But y'all are trash too, because y'all don't never want to play the role of the provider. Y'all don't want to be a teammate. Y'all don't want to support us. Y'all don't yeah, y'all don't want to support us, but y'all want to challenge us and put us in situations that we don't want to be in. Y'all want to be able to talk to us and, and treat, treat us any kind of way, but we can't come with y'all with that same reciprocated energy because if we do that, we the assholes and we the motherfuckers. But like, bro, that's not fair. Men, men and female equally. Or if I do too much for you, I'm a lick and, I, and I'm a simp. Or if I give, or if I give you less, niggas ain't shit. It's like, bro, as, as a black man, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a constant struggle every motherfucking day on what the, what, what I should do or what I shouldn't do. And then shit, if you do too damn much, she might cheat on your ass because you because you too damn soft. But if you do too damn little, she might like your ass because you because you a fuck nigga. It's like, bro, what the fuck do you do? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's Marley, like, bro, just, this point, you might want to fuck yourself. Just, just like, pay bro. for her McDonald's, bro. All she wanted was some nuggets and a milkshake. Bro, no, fuck that. No, that's not. No, because if I told my mama that shit, my mama said, fuck, no. I don't know you, bitch. Like, no, no. I'm not but this, 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 this is a tender day. I, I don't owe you shit. Exactly. On everything. Yeah, bro. Oh, bro, if it's a tender day, <laughs> especially. Tender, I don't owe you nothing. <laughs> I don't know you or your kid. It's coronavirus, bro. I don't, I don't fuck out of here, bro. I don't know you. Like, hey, bro, females are the weakest thing, bro. Y'all always ask, y'all. Not even I don't know you. I don't care. Man. <laughs> I don't care. But That's it's, not the, my it's kid. the fact that she yeah, had an attitude kid. about it, bro. She really yeah, was like, exactly. man, Ooh, he ain't nothing. I, bro. bro. I, I say y'all the weakest link because y'all always asking for a handout. We asking for pussy. I'm going to keep it real. We asking for <laughs> pussy, but y'all always asking for a handout. And it's not just for one thing. It's for every motherfucking thing. 
<laughs> I think I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to have money, dick, I'm supposed to be six five. I'm supposed to have an amazing career. Dead ass niggas ain't gonna have all five dead ass. Like bro, bro Marlon bro. already lost points. He cut his beard, so I don't know, man. They want the beard, Marlon. No, no. Let me rewind. My bitch love my beard. You got me fucked up. I'm just saying though, like, listen, she like my shit. I ain't the weakest link in this motherfucking equation. Neither is she. I'm just talking for y'all other bitches out there. Y'all the weakest link. Brother Ma, brother Ma. <laughs> yeah, bro. Because in my day, y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> Whenever Marlon go on a rant, bro, I got to put, it, day, to put Umar up, bro. Yeah, Stay home, Umar bro. face. Umar face. <laughs> For real, man. Nah, man, like, come on, bro. What are we doing? That's your kid. Take care of your kid. That's all I got to say. Like, how you feel offended after I tell you, I look at you, Ayo, hey, can, can I get the card so I can pay for this real quick? I mean, the question was, can you roll into the McDonald's for me? That I'm already going out of my way. For my meal. Yeah? Yeah, she didn't ask. She would have asked. This whole story would have went along. It would have been different, bro. Yeah. If she would have asked. Like, no, 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 this is how the conversation went. We should have got a McDonald's. And if she, no, we ordered food. And look, I said, look, I know this is the first date, but honestly... I don't got it. And, 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 I, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I ain't finished. I ain't finished. I, 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 honestly, honestly, I, I'm in a Western situation and honestly, I don't got it at, at the moment. Can you be so kind to, 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 pay, to pay for, my, pay for my, my baby meal? It's the I don't got it. That shit killed me, bro. Point, I would laugh. I would that, laugh, bro. In that, that point, situation, bro. At that point, she gonna have to sell some dick or some shit. Cause at that point, it's like you didn't, you, <laughs> you didn't make me step out my comfort zone by paying for your baby meal. I one, you probably never told me that you even had a baby. And then two, why am I paying for your baby this early? I'm not step, like okay. I didn't commit go to, to step work. Baby. Why you on this date with me? Go to work. Go to work. Trying to get a free bag, man. Free bag. Go to work. Go to work. But the bit nothing the, free in this world. Go to work. It's just disappointing, bro. She's wild, bro. <laughs> it's, wild. it's just disappointing, bro. Because all that and now, oh no! If she maybe came up front and did it like that, I'll maybe say, maybe the dude might have. Because I'm already going out of my way and using my gas to go to that McDonald's up the street or whatever I'm going to. So it's just like I'm wasting gas. If you ask me to be up front it, about it. Mm-hmm. That'll just it get you cool. farther. It if you cool. just be a front in life, that just gets you farther, bro. It just you does. Did you try? You beating around the bush. No, she tried. She tried you, bitch. She thought you was a lit. Exactly. She tried trying to get she mad. Wanted, she wanted to see what she wanted to see how much money you put down. Like, come on, bro. And hey, bitch, you gonna be really disappointed because I wasn't gonna spend shit. I can just imagine she was sitting there looking at her phone, and then looked up, and he was like, "Yo, give me the money." And the funny <laughs> like, she was like, didn't say "Shit, <laughs> either." Didn't say shit. Didn't say shit. And then he looked at her like, he looked at her like. So yeah, like, like you ever seen that meme where the two niggas stand back at each other? Yeah, P Diddy and that other nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then, like, for real. She pay, and, then, and then she on the date, she had a mad dry on the date. Like, bitch, it's not my responsibility to pay for your child. Exactly. Eating like, all the food. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's the bit like you shouldn't be on the date. You should be at work. At the end of the statement, bro, look. Period. As black, at strip as club. Black, bro, bro, look, bro, bro, don't stop, stop expecting men to do shit that. It's not our responsibility to do. Like, exactly. Your kids, pay for your own shit. Do what you gotta do, bro. Stop being a weak link, bro. End quote. <laughs> Stop Career, being bro. the weak link. I, that's, that's real weak link activity, bro. I don't like that. And speaking of weak, so we got Pharrell. He came out and said, "Look, man, I'm a taxpayer. Nah, dog. And if some that's shit that's go that's down, <laughs> nah, hold on, he said, I'm a taxpayer. <laughs> and if some shit go down, this man, I, bro." I am calling the cops. Calling the police. Said, I am calling the feds. Oh, you bet, man. You call the police. You call, you call the police. We all call the police. Even though we fuck 12, we he all said, call the police. I won't hesitate to snitch. He <laughs> used the word snitch. So I want to. Bro, he, Proudly. He's, yo, you got to understand that that tax bracket he in, bro. He telling y'all, bro. He had to say what he had to say. Own everything. Look, we're gonna hear him right now. I'm a really, I really believe in paying taxes because when you pay taxes, 
when you pay taxes, it's like you shouldn't feel no kind of way. Right. Dialing nine one. Can I just say they laughed? He was dead for real, serious, bro. Yeah, he was dead. Serious. <laughs> there was no yeah. laugh from him. He dead. That's for another real. thing, Raw. It's like when you rich, niggas said, be laughing at you just because you rich, bro. Like that shit wasn't even funny what he just said, and them niggas laughing about it, like, bro. I'm like, that's but dead listen, for real. But, 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 but can't be mad at what he said, though. Are you really mad at what he said? Because like, look, bro, we gonna hear it. As a person, as, I said, bro, as a person who live in the upper tax bracket, bro, look, I ain't, bro, look, I believe in the system. Just, just, just a little bit. We got to pay your money, like, damn, do your job, bitch. I pay your pockets. That's it. Nah, I feel that though. I feel system, that. Sentiment. It's fuck twelve. But if I pay my taxes, oh, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh oh, uh oh, it's fuck twelve though. Bro, it's fuck twelve regardless. Bro. Oh it's, shit! Okay now, it's fuck twelve, but you pay twelve. All right now, and one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Literally, I'm not a tough guy. I knew I'm staying my ass inside, and the FBI is on speed dial, bro. <laughs> not a fucking tough guy. <laughs> you people say things about snitching. I'm fucking snitching, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, everybody plays their part. This is a movie. Everybody you guys, play. everybody plays their part. No, you're They're tough guys. Don't you're snitch. No, you're I'm snitching. Listen. Don't do nothing around me. I'm not built for the channel. Like. I'm not snitching. What do you mean? No. I'm like, hey, you can't get mad at me. I gotta do my. I, hey, I have a purpose. I have to be me. I have to do my job. You ain't gonna do 25 years in a condition you know you are not built for yeah. because you wanna look tough. I am not. Tough. You know what I, you know what I want to look like? I'm free and happy. Right. And yeah, like, yeah, yes, living yes. my life. Right. Look, he ain't wrong. <clears throat> he ain't wrong, bro. He's not lying. Pharrell bro. ain't hard. I agree with what he's saying. My only thing is he kept saying that I'm not tough. I feel like, bro, regardless if you tough or not, just do the right thing. But regardless, he, you, don't like, okay, be, you don't have to be physically. Pharrell has been in the studio scene. with uh, what is his name with Jay Z and all them. He know he done seen some stuff that he probably wow. just has never snitched about, you know. But it's to an extent. I, I understand, bro. You, you gotta snitch. Whether you tough or not, bro, what you Fred, gotta do. Red just told you he pussy, and then he, and, and, but you feeling some, but you feeling a different way about it, bro. He just said, bro, I'm pussy, bro. That's, that's he's saying I'm pussy, but if he's I saying, wasn't, he's saying, he's saying, bro, don't expect me to, don't expect me to ever be to be a, be the tough guy, bro. I'm pussy. That's just not my role in this life, bro. I'm pussy, bro, and I'm gonna call the police. That's just. What I feel means. like he pushing the stereotype, bro, because no, he's he making it seem like if you tough, then you shouldn't call bro. the police. No, 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 I don't bro, think that's what he's saying. Bro, bro, that's you what he's saying, saying, bro. Deep bro, down, bro. Ben, if that's you know the life you live in, if bro, If we peel go back crazy. the layer, Ben, we know who, we know who, which niggas around us are about it and who not. He's not, bro. He just told you he's not, bro. It's not, it's not for him. But what I'm saying is the niggas that are about it, they shouldn't be about it. Bro, everybody's built, bro. They if we get, if somebody, if somebody starts some shit with us in public, bro, I don't know how to tell you this, but one of us going to be about it. And it might be it might be me or just off the principle, just depending on what it is. So bro, and, and like I said, I'm not gonna spend, I ain't gonna spend you to fight. But if it's but if it's within good reason, you can try and fuck that. That's just what it is, like off the principle, yeah. like and, and, and that's just like everybody's gonna be about it, bro. But that doesn't make you a tough guy, you know what I'm saying? Like Fred don't wanna be in no shit. You ain't gonna see him fighting in the club. Yeah, that's but that's not what I'm saying though. Happen, like, what I'm saying I'm is like, the tough guy should not be expected to not call the cops. Does that I make sense? Like, in, like in a way, either way, he gonna, he gonna the cops gonna be called. Nah, bro. somebody gonna call the cops regardless of whatever's <clears> going on. I'm gonna call the cops. I'm trying yeah, to tell y'all, no, you that's not how it goes down, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's not how it goes down. Somebody gonna call. Sometimes the cops. the cops are not getting called, bro. No, listen, unless they you unless you kill that motherfucker. That's how um uh, Mo, Mo three died, bro. Nobody calling the cops, bro. Why would he call the cops? They call the cops. Like, Why would he call the cops if he was doing something illegal? Bro, because he crossed the same thing. He was getting, bro. I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you about the situation. He was getting followed after leaving the chick house. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to tell you this. In that first five minutes, you probably not know you was getting followed. Then 
it ain't no time for me to stop and call. And even if I call, how they gonna find me? Like it got to the point where he had to, he crashed his car and ran. So it wasn't no scenario where he could have been. Oh my god! Like bro, there's no there's no way around that. He was gonna get killed. Well, again, okay, like, he wasn't. Hey, there are certain situations. There are certain situations where like yo, you're he not gonna be able to call the police, mm-hmm. bro. You're gonna have to no, deal. He, with he knew that nigga was problem. He he didn't. He didn't. He, he did that. He did that until it was the chase. Mm. Yeah, he knew that man was following, bro. Nigga, nigga Mobile Mo be alive if he knew that shit. Nah, he knew it, bro. He knew what it was. Yeah, he he just know that he was bro. doing something illegal he as well. Crashed. He not he gonna call the cops on himself. Man, he crashed the car and got the, the car. The thing is, bro, the cops, they're not gonna pick a side, bro. They're not gonna be like, oh, yeah, you getting followed, so let me help you out. No, they're gonna say, what did you do? Bro, I don't know. But what did you do? Be honest, I'm cool because either way we both went to jail. I, I live that. Nah, bro, you tripping? <laughs> I live. This is only your bitch has going to jail too. I got money, bitch. <laughs> I got money. Shit. And the yeah. and the nigga who killed both three, they ain't got arrested too. Or one nigga. Man, these the niggas don't care about jail, bro. He probably already been to jail. Not for real, bro. He don't he care, bro. He getting out <laughs> when he eighty. Oh, shit. Anyway, (laughs) famous Dex man appears to be going through a drug addiction. Bro, Bro. last like three years, I tried to tell niggas that that nigga been looking sick. He been real skinny in the face. It's like I don't know what 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 was the music or what. I just feel like he had hype, bro. That nigga was he was zombified, bro. bro. He was so disappointing, bro. I don't know if it's the drugs. LA is like a zombie. Just turned. Yeah, the same as he used to be. And they used to have all. The, I mean, he was already skinny, bro. But that nigga looked like he was dying. On the, yeah, he looks he's like, undead. He like he got AIDS or some shit. That nigga like dead, dead looking sunken, like dead rising type and shit. Bro, <clears throat> it's just like his condition just looks real deteriorated. Then like shit, he can better he can better speak now. And y'all got the white crust around his mouth, and it's like, bro, this is not how who you was years yeah. ago. It's sad, and, man. Like, there's like it's nobody's sad. trying to help him. <clears throat> like if if. <clears throat> if tomorrow like, they were like, "Hey yo, something yeah. happened to Famous Dex," I would not be surprised because we've been the with the power of the internet, we've been trying to say yeah, this is. man need help. Well, now he's in rehab, and we're like, "Okay, cool," but thanks to Rich the Kid, yeah. But I, should I blame? I, but I blame Rich the Kid. Uh, mm. But I blame Rich the Kid though, because it's like, bro, you 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 knew, you knew, you had to know, because you you've been around. That probably be your brother. You've been around that nigga the more. You've been around that nigga more than anybody else. Dead ass, and that's like y'all probably be like this. And you telling me you didn't notice this nigga was going through this nigga was like dying, my nigga. Like, come I mean, on, now. at least I'm he did something. Nah, bro, you remember when nigga, um... after everybody, after everybody <clears throat> called you out? Did you ever see the video where Frenchie Montana <clears throat> and Mac Miller were in the studio and uh Frenchie gave him a bottle of lean, right? Mm. And it was like, hey, yo, you gonna miss a few shows off of this, and they're pretty much in the studio laughing about it the whole way through. And dudes just chugging this stuff, bro. French as a straight up enabler, bro. And that's what's happening all around Dex, man. You got people just giving this dude. I feel like you, you got unlimited money because you're a rapper. And I feel like if you have a whole bunch, <coughs> nobody gonna tell you no. I feel like the, just like the Juice World shit. Before Juice World died, that ass people were saying, bro, that nigga was fighting addiction, dead yep. ass. And people tried to, people were trying to stop him. Or everybody around him was dead ass trying to stop him. But you can't fight addiction, bro. And the famous this case, bro, I feel like all the, the women and shit, nobody's gonna tell you about yourself. Mm. Well, shit, you gonna die, bro. Like, that's just what it is, bro. They're not gonna that's stop like, you yo, the money. They ain't gonna stop it. Are, is, is, was Dex... That don't make sense, Did Dex bro. have the lady? He, he the money, girl? so... I'm like, if he the money, don't you want to keep him alive? If he's oh, the cash man, cow, man. don't you want to keep the bro, cow they alive? They're bleeding him dry. Exactly, that doesn't it's make the sense. the LA culture, bro. They want you drugged up. And they want you high all the time, and bro, you got and you got you a rapper. You ain't you wasn't just some trash ass rapper. So he gonna have you little dollars coming in. Yeah, the girl, all you wanna do is fuck you, fuck you do drugs, fuck you do drugs. Like bro, he, he bro, he was getting bitches and doing drugs. He ain't had no family around him. He ain't had no real niggas around. He don't got he don't really he don't got a team. Yeah, his his mom died. You know his mama did. Uh, his mama died. Like bro, mm. he don't have no team around. You can tell he don't have a real team around him. No, he don't. <clears throat> he don't. You, you got you you're assigned to a label all that shit, but you don't have to, but you, you got no team, you got no, you don't got nobody in your ear. Like, come on now, why artists do they need to have like insurance? 
or mental health counselors or shit like that. Cause bro, they don't give these artists no type of like transitionary period. They don't give them nothing to, to cope with their situation. Like rappers don't have health care, my nigga. Like that's for real. Though. Hopefully, you know he gets better, man. Since he rehab, he's, like, he's rehabilitated. Because like twenty twenty is too much damn death. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Get better, man. Yeah, for real. But you know what? Also, while we're on the note of this, yo, rest in peace to Capital C's. Uh, today would be the anniversary of his suicide on December twenty third. Yeah, just... yeah. R.I.P. Uh, mental health. Great lyricist, man. Great lyricist. Oh man, that nigga could rap his ass off. And that's funny you say that because that's a great segue to the next question: What artist should really drop on Christmas Day? <clears throat> And in my opinion, they should go ahead and drop that Capital Steve's album, bro. Bro. Drop that. Drop that. I feel like they don't have enough. I feel like, I feel like they don't have enough. Yo, they got it. You feel like what? They got it. Stop. They got that, man. That. They got... No, no. I'm saying drop uh, it. He's saying they ain't got it. it. Oh, yeah. They I feel like been so many years. Why? Why didn't you drop it by now? Because cause, cause it goes back to my uh, usual point that New York dudes don't know how to market themselves. Mm. They don't know how to. They don't know. They to had do it though, Rob. They, they could have did it, it a long time ago. Time. Yeah. yeah, they yeah, just don't they know. They don't know, bro. Did. Everyone in like pro era, money, money. Oh, they all in that so time they frame. Have, they had enough hype they to drop that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, we I worrying thought, about dropping the Beast Coast projects and all the junk, bro. Steve should have came before all of that. Because it's not complete, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, that, that shit is not complete. What? They didn't have enough, bro. I, I, I 100% believe they ain't have enough, bro. Man, if y'all don't man, add done. some verses on them junks and keep it pushing, bro, help that, like, that finish that done. project, bro. If it's four songs, just drop the four songs, bro. If it's just four Songs, drop four songs. Think about, think about Capital Steve Duff. I remember when this is when I first had to realize how weird the world is. I remember when he explained it. I remember how Joy explained it, how he thought people was he felt like he was so woke that he felt like the universe was catching up to him and he felt like people were, were planning to kill him. And then that's when you first started hearing about like shit, how far the world is. And, and a nigga either got killed or he did suicide. And it's like, dog, like it. It never sat right with me how it played out. And I could tell it bothered Joey. And I always felt like it was never you never knew the whole story. And I feel like Joey knew Joey knew more about it. And like I said, even to this day, it's like I could celebrate your death, but it's like I feel real eerie about it every time niggas talk about it. Mm. So I just feel, I just like, feel well, like man, they really just letting this I legend like, fade, I feel like bro. You died. Different. You die. Yeah, like I'm saying, fade. drop the project. New York now has this sound of the 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 New York drill going on. Now dropping Steve stuff is just like oh, under that. the bridge, yo, because nobody looking for that sound no more. Mm-hmm. If you had dropped that, if you had dropped Steve stuff around the same time as uh, uh, a Section Eighty I, coming I can't, out, I can't, I can't, I can't disagree with that. Why? Because. Niggas like Griselda are still rocking, so I can't say like which is cool. Content. But Griselda ain't got the same following <laughs> as the pop that. smokes. Don't, don't, the it's not gonna pop that. though. Don't it's not that. gonna pop like oh, that. Bro. It's gonna oh, that gonna, gonna become an underground that. classic, bro, man. Niggas is not gonna listen to that, bro. Niggas not bro, listening bro, to Beast day. Coast. Bro, ain't bro, nobody, nobody checking for Beast Coast right now. No, no, no we're talking about Captain Steve. That's a fuck. That's what I'm saying. But he's part of it though. He was. No, he's part of those fans. A singular. Half of the Steve's tape. That's it. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about the rest of them niggas, bro. Cause them niggas ain't did shit. But what I'm talking about is the fans, bro. They want to at least make some money off of it. It's capital Steve's. You want to get some capital off of it. But I'm saying, like, he's not going to give you you no capital, bro. You can't tour. You can't get no capital off of nothing. So it don't don't matter, You can't tour regardless because he's gone. But I'm saying you still want to get some streaming numbers. You can't get no streaming numbers, bro. He would get something Nobody's checking for them. No, like, if, if, um, if Joey was to drop today... Which nobody's bro. looking bro. for that. And bro, nigga said the light pack is a bunch of mid, bro. This ain't even coming from me. This is what the people said. If they drop Capital Steeds now, bro, nobody's gonna listen to that shit. And that's the sad, bro. Rap, rap fade, bro. Rap don't like certain rap don't don't last, don't last, bro. Rap has this. That's secret. what I'm saying. They missed their mark. Yeah. Same thing. That's, that, that's a weird they thing about it. It. like. 
you know, sports niggas, they, they have years. Actors have years. But rap niggas, they have months. Days. They have a time cycle like every year. You could think of every year. You could think of when each rapper popped and what time of the year it was. And this shit, the next year, it's like, either you're not established, you fade away. And they miss their mark to be they able to have C's in there. Mm-hmm. Yo, mm-hmm. when Joey was on his big little, on his little bit of a run, with mm-hmm. Before the Money, 1999, and then, uh, what was it? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, oh, Summer Nights. In between mm-hmm. any of that stuff, because you're the only person on Pro Era who's really blowing, and people only knew Joey and Capital Steve. That's it. If you had dropped that project like a little after, before the money, or even if you dropped it before uh, American, All American, American bro, yeah. you would have been fine. We're done now. Like mm-hmm. you've missed that mark. If you drop some Steve's junk right in between with uh. With Section 80 with Kendrick and all that other stuff, that would have been a time because the internet came out, all that would have fit perfectly in that section of time. Mm. So I, I, I doubt it's coming out Christmas, but you know what is coming out Christmas. Yeah. Playboy Cardi, Nothing. whole leather red. I feel Boy. weird even saying that. I don't even know if it's coming Yo, out for I, sure, bro. Like, I, I feel. <laughs> no. I really want to know what this is about to be like. I, I, de- I dead ass don't want it to come out because I want to see the reaction if it doesn't come Bro, out. Bro, if it don't come out, boy, I I want it to. I want to see. I, I, I if it don't come out, I'm just gonna be I'm so gonna disappointed. Listen. You know exactly. You listen. Listen. listen I'm gonna you, take my listen, time. Listen, you don't understand, bro. It should come out and what to not come out. I want to see what, how they gonna act, bro. Bro, they if, crazy, bro. yo, they gonna snap, you. man. All this <laughs> promo, all this junk. I will say that merch. Anybody wearing that merch, you going to hell. Because that junk <laughs> wild, bro. That is is some of the most satanic uh, <laughs> punk stuff I've ever seen, yo. And I'm he's like, he's a punk. He's, a, he's telling you I'm a punk. I'm a punk demon, bro. Just get, just get with it. Which is true. But how you get Kanye to that, that's executive that's produce your project? Yeah. How did he get Kanye to executive produce something? Because Kanye, this, bro, Kanye is a way of game. Uh, this uh, man literally will away, try to bro. sell us anything any and everything literally man. because you just sold us christianity and now you hopping on the wave with one of the biggest uh, you're with one of the biggest drops and it's just, yeah, yeah that says playboy party and it has a black cat on it yeah mm, yeah it's a goofy i don't know if you spend $110 for that hoodie, hoodie you a goofy ass nigga. Bro, there bro. is an no, upside seriously. down cross rug. You can get that <laughs> bro, as your welcome lie. mat. We and still me doing me shit. Hear me, me, me out. I ain't trying to go to hell, but I ain't gonna lie. Like, I get it. I get it. If, 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 like, if that show aesthetic, I get it. But that I That shit remind work. me of our future, bro. Like, bro <laughs> our future was doing that shit. We were gonna that wear some. some no, our Niggas future, our future was doing it to make people mad. I swear, that was all they did. This stuff was then, to make people. You mad. were you would wear that shit. If Tyler did it though. You was gonna wear that bitch though. Back in the day. Like, back in the day, yeah. Now, now it's like I'm older and understand. Day. Like, yeah, this ain't it. I ain't gonna promote that. But uh, Cardi's like, yo, this really what I deal with, bro. Also, feel like that's he's not too- even his. Like that's not his content. It's not. It's Uzi's he's content. Been, it's Uzi yeah. actually. It's I, more I, so Uzi, I, yeah. I, I, it's more so Uzi than anything. Uzi is showing us like that more. Man, I'll ask you one question. Bro, that rug, you could just lie and say that's a Chrome Hearts rug. <laughs> you look at that shit. You could just flip that bitch aside. <laughs> you, you could lie to niggas. That's a, that's a Chrome Hearts hood. Like, <laughs> bro, dog. All right, real fashion niggas know you can finesse that shit. That's Chrome Hearts, bro. You, you know what the fuck that is? Like, that's hard. <laughs> but yeah, that's not even his content, though, bro. It's I true. Iggy like, like, made made him a thought, bro. Iggy like, <laughs> made him a thought. Iggy him since Texas a talent. So, you know it's true, bro. He like Playboy Cardi used to be a nigga, bro. Like everybody else. So who else y'all want to drop on Christmas though? Besides that nigga. That yeah. ass. Yeah. I want everybody to take a break, bro. Come back next year, man. You know, ooh, Cole. Yo, mm. it's almost Cole over, bro. There? It's almost over. He's supposed to drop, drop this year. Christmas? That'd be nasty if he dropped. I'd be mad he waits till January 1st to drop. I'd be pissed. January 24th. The first. That's his birthday. January 28th. That's his birthday. Oh, he 20. said he was dropping in 2020. I, I, bro. If he drop on New Year's, that'd be lame as hell. 
I he I could see him doing it New Year's Eve, New Year's Day ish in a sense, or mm-hmm. I can just see him doing it Christmas because Friday or really or is release day it makes it easier for you. Christmas anyway. would be nice. He might as well. I don't know. I just want everybody to drop. I want Sid to drop. I want Drake to drop. I want Air- I want Kendrick to drop. I want everybody to drop so we get the shot. We ain't getting Kendrick. We ain't getting Kendrick till like April. I don't want. I'm tired of Kendrick. Drop, bro. Kendrick done. I feel yeah, like we just need bro. to stop talking about him and let him just be in peace, bro. Hopefully nah, bro. Don't do that. We're gonna talk about this nigga. I hope just he like can. how you keep bringing up Isaiah. Rashad. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Kendrick. <laughs> Isaiah, <laughs> damn. Isaiah, damn. Sure, not giving you nothing tonight. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That man <laughs> is at home sleep right now, bro. He is really? not in the studio. I appreciate the fact TDE would, would not let the, the nigga drop for years and then just still be ready for that shit. Like, nah, bro, for real. They know what they're doing. Watch Damn. Bro, what they're doing. Like, them, bro, them, them niggas made an album already, bro. They sit, just sitting there. Damn, drop a single. That, like, it, bro, you know how long it took to get, to get a damn scissor single? Like, God damn, give us some not shit. For real, bro. She told you the album, basically. Damn. She said on Zane Lowe interview. It was one single. Like, it was like here, nigga. That's like somebody begging you for a chip, <laughs> and you finally so, give it to them. Can I get some gum? Yes, can I get some gum? I saw, please. Stupid ass. Some pussy, please. Damn. Feed like, that man. Give him some pussy. <laughs> that, listen, this is some mango. I, listen. Every time you see, every time you see Andre play the fl- flute, bro, he needs some pussy. Man, that nigga, that nigga Afro. I thought that nigga crazy. Andre was gonna drop a project, bro. Andre, but it was an apple pie recipe. Shit. What the hell am I going to do with that, bro? How many? <laughs> what am I going to do with this, Andre? Make apple pie. Make apple pie, bro. Put some butter. Put a little salt. I ain't gonna lie. I, I say it because I, I looked. I was like, let me see this shit work. Mm, <laughs> that shit on my face. <laughs> Get that shit up. Not my Andre face. got you cooking, bro. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> it takes the goat to, to make you want to cook. No. <laughs> no. Oh, man. But nah, besides J. Cole, that's all y'all got, though? That's all I can think of, bro. I want somebody yeah. big. I want some big names to drop tomorrow. Tonight. Cause like Drake, Drake, he's not driving to January and let Drake say fuck it right now. Like, nah, I doubt Drake need to wait. No, Drake dropped in January, so it's like yeah, he need to wait till next year. Drake, Drake was supposed to drop on the first, so but he not. Anymore. They need to drop that Ab Soul project. Drop that shit, man. Test the waters. Test them. That shit. Mm. I don't know. Man, Damn, he man. might be right too. Get, get, That's give the sad me, part. Give me, give, me a, give me a niche act. Like, give me some like Mick Jenkins. Give me somebody. Nah, nah, nah. Mick Jenkins had his turn, bro. Give me somebody that I ain't like. He dropped that last project. What which was actually, circus? Circus, which actually was pretty good. But I it was pretty good. Like, but give me a niche. Uh, it wasn't ben, all that. Ben, Ben's so disrespectful, man. It wasn't all that, y'all. Man, respect <laughs> your respect the waters, bro. bro. That shit went straight to the winds, bro. Bro, respect this man, bro. The waters is. Respect your rap. Yeah, nah, bro. Respect your rap. Respect your rap. Respect your rap. Shut up. Hey, yo. The next time y'all see us for Real Maddie Podcast, we gonna be live and in person and messing up Marlon's living establishment. (laughs) Hold that. Yo. Just letting y'all know. These niggas gonna have to take coronavirus tests when they see me because I don't know. I don't know about these niggas. Yo, you the one in Florida, bro. What you mean? I'm going outside, bro. One day, let me out, bro. I stay contained, bro. I don't go nowhere. Mm. Unless I got to. Y'all, y'all in the city with no mask, bro. I wear a mask. Ben damn when? sure wear a mask. <laughs> he be working. When? when? Ben, what's with your face like that, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> bro, Do you wear a mask, mask nigga? <laughs> nigga I'm, yeah. Bitch, I got a mask right here. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I, I wear a mask. <laughs> All time. I, don't, I don't got no mask right next to me, bro. But uh, <laughs> I wear. Bam, bam. Rasan type of nigga. He lucky don't wear no mask. No, he do. Oh, he do. Like, 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 I feel like Rasan would be a real person. Somebody trying to wear a mask. <laughs> some Caucasian <laughs> like, shit. Some like, Caucasian like, shit. <laughs> nah, I'll rock that mask, bro. I feel like, 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 like an anti-masker. Like he dead ass ain't trying. Like anti-masker. An anti-masker. Oh man, whatever. Yo, we in here. Yeah, bro. We out, hey, yo. Man. Episode four, man. Episode 34. 34, we done. Real Matic Merry Podcast. Christmas, Merry Christmas, bitches. bitches. Merry Christmas to yes. all, man. Happy holidays from the Real Matic Podcast. All that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. For real, man. For real. New episodes every week. Uh, we got our first in-person 
episode coming oh, yeah, for a, New Year. Man, what's up with the support, man? Because I, I ain't liking shit. Y'all ain't subscribing to shit. Yeah, like, come on now. Fuck with I don't man. know, bro. I'm telling you, we got lost do. in the do. doggone transitions of... Lost I think it's bro. We like, gonna bro. shine regardless with or without y'all. So we gonna shine regardless. Hey, I'm hey. saying though, like bro, you don't know we was winning team. Artists, bro. Don't y'all want to win for once? Don't y'all want to you know go somewhere in life? Come on, dog. <laughs> We, you see us grinding. Come on now. Wouldn't that inspire you to grind? Come on, bro. If you are artists in any format, bro, come on. We will give you an interview. We'll talk to you. We'll, you know we'll let you know. Fuck bro. We out here. Bro, man, don't have a pain in you know we got one of the coolest podcasts in the world, bro. Stop fucking like, with we, it, bro. We're going to have to start post, posting like promos with interviews or something like that. Because I swear y'all niggas are like, hey, man, we want some guests. For real, man. Come on, man. For real. Like, you see us? Can, can, one RB singer for 2021? Like, shit. Right, what a rap was that? They, real Matty Pod, man. We out of here. I'm going to go mm. open some presents. <laughs> Bye.